Iowa Catholic Radio presents the Daily Mass from St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in West Des Moines. Father Joseph Pins, pastor. Father John Broby, associate pastor. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. It is great to be here today to celebrate these great mysteries, these great mysteries that Christ has brought to us. But before we begin, let us take time to recall our sins and our failures to better prepare ourselves for these mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty and sincerity of heart. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, needed to the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that he may grant you in accord with the riches of his glory to be strengthened with power through his Spirit in the inner self, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the holy ones what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to accomplish far more than all we ask or imagine, by the power at work within us, To him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations, forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial, the earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Exalt you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp, with the ten-string lyre, chant his praises. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. For upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. But the plan of the Lord stands forever, the design of his heart through all generations. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. But see the eyes of the Lord upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and to preserve them in the spite of famine. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, I have come to set the earth on fire, and how I wish it were already blazing. There is a baptism with which I must be baptized. And how great is my anguish until it is accomplished. Do you think that I have come to establish peace on the earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. From now on, a household of five will be divided, three against two and two against three. A father will be divided against his son and a son against his father a mother against her daughter, and a daughter against her mother, 
a mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Got some contradiction in our readings today. St. Paul writes about God's love. And he writes in a beautiful way of saying the depth, the length, the breadth of God's love. And to know that, then we truly understand God. But this breadth, length, and height, and depth of God's love is just so massive. But St. Paul tells us that love can work within us and through us. And that can be the glory, the glory of the church, the glory of Jesus Christ for generations to come. God's love. Let God's love work through us. And it can change the world for generations to come. But then we have Jesus in the gospel saying, I'm, I'm here to divide. This one against that one, that one against this one. Division. But before he says that, He says, I have come to set the earth on fire and how I wish it were already blazing. How I wish it were already blazing. The fire of love, the fire of Christ, cleansing the world, purifying the world. Just like that purification, if you try to purify a metal, you have to burn it, you have to heat it up. That's what Christ is talking about. Let that love be so strong that it purifies the earth. And this division is is those people that want to be purified and those who do not want to be purified. That pure versus the yuck, the bad. The ugly, the unpure. We live in a time where a lot of people get worried about the world because that's exactly what the news media wants you to do, exactly what the politicians want you to do. They want you to be scared so you vote the way you vote. It's division. They've come to divide, come to divide out of fear. But Jesus tells us, be not afraid. Come, follow me. Be not afraid. Know of my love. Know of the Father's love. So we understand the love of Christ, the love of the Father, the breadth, the length, the height, and the depth to know the love of Christ that surpasses all knowledge. Let Christ purify us. Ask God to purify your hearts, to walk away from the bad, the ugly, the world, and follow Christ. To understand this love. And to fall. To release ourselves and to trust. And to fall backwards into the ocean of God's love and mercy to understand its breadth, its length, its height, and its depth.
that we are his beloved children. Heavenly Father, we humbly come before you to offer you our prayers and our petitions. For the church, may God's glory shine brightly through her service to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For nations, may the Holy Spirit inspire them to replace any division with a spirit of goodwill and cooperation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those traveling the long road of grief, may they know Christ's presence and rest in the confidence that nothing can separate us from the love of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here, may the call of our baptism lead us to go forth and share the good news of Jesus with others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Ron and for all who have died, may our gracious Lord shine his face upon them and give them eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those prayers that are in the depths of our hearts, Let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, these are but a few of our prayers and petitions. We humbly ask them through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Blessed be, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, and always and ever to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim... Holy, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, to be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed is called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. A communion antiphon. Behold, the eyes of the Lord are on those who fear him, who hope in his merciful love to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, 
we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You've been listening to the Daily Mass from St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in West Des Moines on the Iowa Catholic Radio Network.